So guys, we're going to talk about triple integral. So in this chapter, we are going to handle triple integral. At the end of this video, you'll be able to know how to um, um, simplify triple integrals and also how to use calculator to solve triple integrals, right? So for calculator work, check the description of this video for the video, right? Sure. So um, when you talk about triple integral, you finding the volume, right? So the notation of for the general triple integral is that you are doing three triple integral. But the function in this case we have three variables, which is x, y, z, depend. Okay. So considering the control volume of size, um, of size e, so e is now a cuboid, right? And you are going to get our a, b, our c, d, and our e, f. From the previous video from double integral, we established that this represents what our x. This represents our y. So this represents our what? our z. As simple as that. Here, yeah. let's get going. So now, how do you simplify it, right? When given the triple integrals, in this case, how do we do it? How do we arrange the d? The v. The v is what x, y, z. In this case, you arrange it in a way that you understand. So you know that a. They, they first arrange that they started from here. E to f, which is what our z. This is what our y, and this is our what our x. I told you how you arrange this is your own. Um, it, it depends on you, but make sure you do it in the correct way. So let me show you another way that you can do this to remember. So you have our our z, our um, y, our x intervals with a function of what x, y, z. So in this case, how do you arrange the divine? The divine is what the x, dy, dz. So then you look through here. Let's look at something here. You see they've arranged it, but let's we arrange it starting from here, starting from the inside. So this one, the x came first here, so x will come here. The second one is what y, y will come here, and the third one is what z, z is here. So you always, well after arranging, just look from here. You look through here and use the arrange it because we've arranged it from x, uh, z, y, x, and we look through it and we have our x coming first, so the x will come first. Our y coming second. The y will come second, and our z coming last. So our the z will come second, right? We integrate with respect to x first, then y, then finally, uh, then finally z here. Now in this case, I told you that you always start from the middle, right? For you not to get confused, you start from the middle, and this we are going to do partial integral, right? So let's take some example, and let me teach you how you can do the partial integral integral variables. So we are going to take this question that we asked to what evaluate the triple integrals. In this case, they gave us the v. So the v represents the x, the y, the z, the z, the x. Anyhow you arrange it, it depends on you. So we have our x interval, our y interval, and our z interval. Please let's do well to arrange it, and let's see. So for for this, we are going to let's let's do something in arranging. So if you are arranging it in our own way, right? Let's start with maybe you can start with x, y, z. With x, y, z, look if you are you are starting with x, y, z. When you look through to be what the z, the y, the x. When you start with z, x, uh, z, y, x. In this case, we ended with what x. So when you are in, you are going to start with the x, the y, the z. Let's see that. So in this case, they arrange it with what? Let's see the intervals from here. Okay. So now they did with z. This is it. This is y. And this is what? X. So when you are doing it, when you look through it here, how are you going to arrange the divine? You are going to have that the s came first here. So the x. And the second one is what? The y. And the third one is what? The z. It's very important. So then we'll take the middle one, which is the integral of negative 1 to 5. The function x plus y x plus uh, y z squared dx. So how do we integrate partially with to um, with this with respect to x? Let's get So how do they do it? Now with the double integral, we told about that if it's, you add uh, this one, but with the triple integrals, let's pay attention. We are dealing with what three variables here. We are doing this with respect to what x, right? Therefore, this when you Integrate, you're going to get what x squared over 2 plus this is standing alone without no x. But in this case, when you are doing that partially with, with respect to um, x, you're going to add x to this, so you're going to get this. Now, I established from the double integral is that, um, I established from the double integral, which is um, which made us understand that when 
you get the partial integral and you differentiate it partially, you should get this. So when you partially differentiate it with respect to x, you should get the answer here. The question given to you. When you are going to get x correctly, then plus, this will what? Be 1. So you are going to get what? Y x, uh, y z squared. You should get note of that. So when the function is not having the variable you are integrating partially with, you just add a variable to it. That's why they added the x. And you, you put in the word the intervals and you get this in this case what you are trying to do is that when you partially integrate with respect to x it means that you are trying to eliminate the x variable because at the end you are going to what put in the what the um, intervals given to you so x will be gone so when you do you are going to get what 12 plus 6 y z squared because you put this one inside then minus you put the negative one inside you get this and you are going to get dy dz because now in this case y is now uh, dx is now gone, right? So we have y dz. And again, you are going to take it from the middle again, which is the y. And in the middle, when you do that, you're going to get 12y. Because it's standard, you are integrating this partially to, with respect to what? y. So you're going to get 12y plus, in this case, you're going to get what? Squared. So it's going to give you 3. They did not divide, but if you divide this, you're going to get, here will be 1, and here will be what? 3. So you're going to get 3y squared, z squared. Then when you get the answer and you partially differentiate back with respect to y, you should get this one. Let's differentiate it with respect to y. You are going to get 12. And here you're going to get 6y, z squared. Then you put in the intervals given to you here. Then you sub So you put this inside, subtract, uh, minus, you put this one inside. And at the end, you're going to get it in terms of what? z. Then you do your normal integral. You put, um, when you do that, you're going to get 24z plus what? This will cancel this. And you get 12z um, cube. And you put the values inside and you get 36. You can also use calculator for this. But understanding this is very simple. So what you must take home is that um, you need to know how to do partial integrals. So you should practice more, even though you've understood it from what I said. You should take some functions and try to practice the partial integral with respect to this, with respect to that, and try and see that. When you get the partial integrals and you partially differentiate it, will you get the question given to you back? That is a way of verifying whether your answer is correct.